he's, he's, he's aggressive quite appetizing. With it, mate. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Cat Carla. Yeah, it's the, the Armatus anyway, which are the big boys. Yeah, people say like eight months in a tank, you're lucky. Yeah. But then again, I know people personally. What is going on YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Now, we've got a tank tour today, so quite excited to go and see this tank. It's a monster fish tank, so let's go and find out what it's like. Right everyone, I've just got to Liam's house and this is his aquarium in his lounge. You got some lovely bits in there, mate, yeah. Yeah, man. A little collection going. What size is it, then, bud? Like uh, in the width and height, and that? It's uh, it's nine and a half feet across, and then two and a half feet by two and a half feet, just to get through doors, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not that big. Yeah. <laughs> it's massive, mate. <laughs> it's lovely, man. What stock you got in there, then? Uh, so that is a couple Florida gars, um, got from the same place, just like, I think like a year apart, something like that. Yeah. Uh, they're just really nice, like the spots on them are really defined and that, so. Yeah, they are. Hanging lovely, on to them. Uh, obviously got the RTG, uh, Asian Arrow, probably had him about a year, growing ridiculously. Bit yeah. of a bully, but he's all right, you know. Yeah, he's nice and thick, isn't he? Yeah, he's getting, pretty, he sort of, I feel like he stopped getting longer and he's just, Filling out in yeah, you know, width and height now. Yeah, it's not. It's nice to see one like on its own in the tank. But what I mean is like without other other arrow one. Yeah, it's man. normally, mate. His tail will be like picked up on that. Yeah. yeah, they do. They do. Um, no matter how many you've got in there, they do bully each other. Yeah, I saw something and it was like, yeah, you can have a school of them yeah. and they'll be fine. I was like, yeah, I don't get a school of those in arrow one. Yeah, <laughs> imagine the money. Yeah, exactly. That's, <laughs> that's my thoughts. Yeah, he's kind of like the feature of the tank, I guess. He's. It's pretty, and the TIG. I guess the TIG is the runner-up feature. Yeah, the TIG is nice, isn't he? Yeah, he's lovely. Look at the colours on him. Always liked them, man. Like, from just getting into fish, they struck my eye, but they were always a bit expensive and that, but mm. you get deep into the hobby and you start making bigger <laughs> bigger purchases, I guess. You do, you, you sort of buy a fish, and you go, right, that's the last time, I'm not buying an expensive yeah, fish now. Then, then six, yeah. six months later, you're like, Right, I've been looking at this. You yeah. look at it all the time, didn't it? And yeah, you go, yeah. right, right, I'm getting one. Yeah. I'm having it. Yeah, I need one. That's what happens, mate. That's it, man. But again, like, when you get more into the hobby, you're more confident that you're going to be able to look after it properly as well. Like, yeah. You, you know, you don't want to risk, like, a 600-pound fish with a bad system. So. No way, mate, no way. Uh, yeah, apart from that, I've got uh, the bass, the Kelbury, um, giraffe catfish. It's got a bit of a fin injury there. Yeah, he's a nice size, though, isn't he? Yeah, he's all right. He's pretty thick. They do get massive, so we'll have to rehome him at some point. But he's doing all right. He's really slowed down on the growing now, so I don't know. Maybe he'll be all right. Mm. And we've got a uh, white spot cactus pleco at the back there. I can't remember what the L number is. Yeah, it's nice. He's sort of blending in, isn't it? Yeah, you don't really notice him until he's sort of, you know, right in your face. But he's nice. He's all spiky and that. He's a bit different. Mm. Yeah, he's cool. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, that's it, man. Yeah, the bass have got some real nice gold on them, haven't they? Yeah, man. Under the right light, they look great. Good feeders too. Yeah. Lots of splashing. Lots oh of... yeah, and it get it gets everything else going in the tank. Yeah, as well, yeah. It? As soon as they start darting about, everything knows what's about to go down. Yeah. yeah they're all, I, I'm at a happy medium at the minute. Every all the food always gets eaten. Do you know what I mean? Like everyone's yeah. got their their job <laughs> when, yeah. when the prawns get chucked in. I was going to say your your tank is probably perfectly stocked. You're looking I'd at say it right so, now. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, I, you know, obviously you always want a new fish, but I'm kind of happy where it's at right now. Yeah. I did have a, uh, I had a Pyara before, lovely, like, you know, good size, but he, don't know what happened, he like twatted into the side of the tank or something, and then over the next few days just sort of deteriorated yeah. um, and died, sadly. But oh. I'd like another one. If I saw another one, I'd, I'd probably give it a chance just because they're cool. And I've, I've heard a lot about them. They get to a certain size and they sort of just just die it's weird yeah some people yeah it's the the armatus anyway which are the big boys yeah people say like eight months in a tank you're, you're lucky yeah but then again i know people personally who've had them for years at this point so it can be done it's just just a one-off mate yeah. yeah they're prone to bashing into stuff when they strike their food it's like really aggressive and they don't seem to look where they're going so it's just yeah <laughs> yeah and obviously their heads at the front yeah their brains in there so yeah. if they damage their brain exactly. it's game yeah. over isn't it exactly now, all the fish look lovely and beautiful, mate. Look at it. Look at this, look. Yeah, good size. Real nice size. Crazy how fast they grow as well. 
like, all these bass I got when they were little diddly things and it's only taken a couple of years to yeah. get to this size. Oh yeah, I know. Have you got a dominant man at the moment? Then? I see this uh, one yeah, in the back's got one. a hump. Yeah, when, you, uh, <laughs> when I've just done a water change, his hump goes massive. Yeah. Huge. Yeah, but he is, I'd say he's the boisterous one. And she, she's the boisterous female, for sure. Like, this one here? Yeah. Yeah. Does good. And do you reckon that's, obviously these are the smallest type bass you can get at the yeah. Kelbara, isn't it? Which yeah, is like nice, isn't it? 18 inch sort of max, yeah. which is nice. Do you reckon they've got a little bit more to go on them? Uh, maybe the smaller ones. I think, I think that, that, that big one, I think she's about done. Yeah, um, it's a lovely sized fish though, isn't it? Yeah, it's kind of nice. It's like kind of like big Oscar sized, which yeah. is cool. Um, Oscars are real aggressive. I wanted one, but they're just, they're just too aggressive, man. These are aggressive too, but they sort of keep themselves in line, I mm. suppose. It's nice how they just sit together. Yeah. Like, like, yeah. like the whole time we filmed them now, they've just been together. Yeah, like a little school. It's yeah, not even sure. like fighting or anything nah, like that. It's I mean, lovely, I'll, isn't it? I'll be honest, we got lucky there, but <laughs> they, do, they do like to bicker. Mm. As you can probably see from the scales on the floor here. Yeah, Something, something yeah. went down yeah. last night, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> Fast grow back though, don't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah, that's it, that's it. Not like a arowana scale. Takes no, it takes a while. Well, well yeah. when, they're, when they're young, it, they grow really quick, but when okay. they're a bit older, it takes a good good yeah. month or so, a couple of months, doesn't it? it? You must have like held a scale that's like dried out. It's like yeah. solid, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's like bone. It's yeah. strange, isn't it? Yeah, and they, strange. And it's, it's, it's weird how big the scales are, because obviously huge. they go back inside it's the body, don't they? Yeah, massive. Well, you look at the, um, you've seen like river monsters now, and they have like the arapaima scales. Oh. They're a lot as big as your hand. It's like a, like a clamshell or I something, know. isn't it? Yeah. Crazy, man. Yeah, awesome. Right, yeah. so what else you got in the tank then? Like, I see all these um, uh, powerheads. Powerheads, basically just for flow, innit? I just, I don't like, you know, when poo just sort of like sits about and yeah. like, I, need, I need to sort, this is obviously a point where everything gathers now. Yeah. But I just like it to get swept up so it can get filtered out. Because um, it just looks nicer when there's nothing on the floor. The TIG likes a bit of flow. I've worked out, he likes to sort of sit and just sort of, you know, fight against the flow. Yeah. Same with the arowana. I don't know, I just feel like when you've got big fish, you should have a bit of flow just to give the appearance of more space. Absolutely. You know what I mean? it, yeah. it gives them a bit of energy as well. Yeah, yeah that's it. That's it. I mean, yeah, when I first put this big one in, everything <laughs> did just sort of get pushed to this side, but they've learned to swim against it now. Yeah, yeah. Look, it gives them strength as well, doesn't That's it? That's it, man. Yeah, other than that, I've just got some bogwood for decoration. I did have a lot more, uh, but as the fish get bigger, you know, they start injuring themselves a little bit on it, so. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you've got to be careful, especially these. I found yeah, man. mine have, like, rammed themselves into a bit of yeah. wood. You come downstairs, you're like, what have you done to yeah, yourself, no, like, yeah. next day or whatever? <clears throat> I've seen, like, where they just hit their eye on it or something, and it just goes cloudy. Yeah. And, yeah. Fucking yeah, stressful. Yeah, it's stressful and it's scary and you're like, yeah. is that gonna heal? But it exactly. normally does, doesn't it? Should, it it so. should do, if your water's alright, it should be alright. Yeah. Yeah, apart from that, not much. Just some uh, couple bubblers which aren't bubbling like they should. <laughs> <laughs> I need to address that. Yeah, I mean the tank needs a little it needs a bit of love, it'll get it at some point. Yeah, it's an interesting tank though, and it's a in really interesting weir as well, isn't it? Like yeah, the so way it's set up. I went, I went for the centre weir, I'm not sure why. Um yeah, the tank was done by Fish Tank Fabrications a few years ago. Lovely tank, really happy with it. Um, yeah, central weir, double sort of drain. Uh, that was for like noise reasons. If you have one, you get quite a lot of like yeah. blubbing about and it's yeah. quite annoying, but the second one like sort of deafens that sound for some reason, which is mm. cool. Um, yeah, then just got a big return pump, pumping it all back in. Pretty simple, just big. That's all it is, really. Yeah, yeah. We'll have a look at the sump in a minute. Yeah, yeah. I want to have a look at these gars again, mate. Yeah. I've, I've never, um, I've never kept a gar before. I oh, highly recommend. They're yeah. awesome. They're they're so docile. They never go for anything, and they, you know, they're quite a spectacle. They're really nice. They feed well. They're interesting to watch eat because they've obviously got the crocodile sort of mouth. Yeah, it's yeah. A bit different. Yeah, very cool. Yeah, it's amazing there. It? It's got a very similar tail size to the other one, isn't it? Yeah, they're, yeah sort of, they're like boy, pretty much the same length. Hmm. Is that got a bit more growing than this one? It's, they, it's say, Florida, they, they say they get to two and a half, three foot. Um, I haven't really noticed them putting on a lot of size recently, but obviously I see them every day. Um, yeah. He's obviously still got a good bit to go. Are they slow growing or fast yeah, growing? Yeah, slow, real slow. Yeah. yeah I think. I've had him for like a year and he's only put on a few inches. Yeah. Um, but I, fish to fish it varies too because he put on, you know, he's at least doubled in size since I got him a few years ago. Uh, you know, fishes vary, I suppose. Yeah, of course. It's and like it's, humans, isn't it? They're not yeah. always going to get And it all to, 
depends if like about your water, water types and yeah. all that sort of stuff, don't yeah, it? Yeah. What you're feeding them. What you're feeding them, yeah, yeah. for sure. I try to give them a bit of a variation, sort of pellets, prawn, uh, bassa fillets chopped up. Yeah. Only because it's like river fish, I feel like if you're going to give them fish, maybe try and give yeah, them river it's not, fish. Not yeah, not a bad shout, yeah. Might make no difference, but, you know. Oh, all the fish that love it, mate. I, I love, I love it. It's, it's nice how it's all black background, and you haven't yeah. got any sand nah. as well, and it just keeps it all crisp Look, and clean. Yeah, I've, <laughs> I think on the uh, third sort of bout of trying sand, and it all, you know, went tits up as it does. I've said no more sand. I'm never trying sand again because it's great, but you've got to keep it stirred up because if there's a bit of food that gets lost, like yeah, yeah ammonia spikes, not fun. And it, I think it looks nice, easy it does, to it clean. It does, it looks cool. Yeah. And all yeah. the black sort of reflects off it, doesn't it? And it yeah. gives the fish a shimmer off the it bottom, it? Yeah, it does define them a bit, which is nice. Yeah, black background I'd always go for. Yeah. Like, going forward, for sure. And another thing with the sand as well, I've, I've obviously got sand in all my tanks. Yeah. I do like it, don't get me wrong, but if you get one grain of sand caught in your flipper, oh, mate, it will scratch up the, the yeah, tank. Yeah, 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 for sure. I and know. you're like, oh my God, I've just got, I've just got a massive scratch in yeah. my tank again. And, and you, you hear it yeah. and you like, oh, yeah. you know what you've done. Yeah. And oh, obviously yeah. you have to take so the flipper out and clean it. Yeah. It takes one grain. Yeah, man. So you've got it's, to be so it's a bit good. brutal. Yeah, it is, you know, it's just, this is the hobby. Everyone's saying, oh, just get sand. It's yeah. like, yeah, mate, there's a lot of things that sand could do. It can eat your filters as well. I think maybe two or three FX4s just got wrecked because yeah. a bit of sand gets into the impeller, yeah. same thing, it's just destroying it. Yeah, you forever clean them out. That's it, man. I did have slate for a while, but it's even worse because you can't stir it up. It's nah. just there, and I was yeah. like, ah, am I going to stir this up? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> nah, it's working now, this is working. Yeah, man. Can we have a look at your sump then? Is that yeah, right? bang on these doors open. Right, so is it coming this first bit here? Yeah, is it? so it comes like two tubes. They come in there, goes through some filter floss, and then some various sort of uh, coarse, the different courses of sponge. Yeah. And then it sort of goes under, under then over, into the uh, next section, which is purely alpha grog. It's like 45 kilos in there. Yeah, it's great stuff in it. Yeah, it's just. And you, loads of surface area you, on you it. You don't touch it, just nah, leave it. No, nah, I never have. I've just added more to it. I've got yeah. another bag in the garage, but I don't really think it needs it at the minute. I'm, I'm the same, mate. I don't touch mine. Just leave it. Right. A lot of people go, oh, no, you've got to take it out and yeah, nah, rinse just, it out. That causes, <laughs> that causes issues, yeah. more, I reckon. Yeah, yeah. If, if the system's doing fine, yep. there's no point in about it, is it? it. Yeah. So the heaters are in that section, too, just to keep the main tank sort of tidy. What are they? Eheims, are they? Uh, no, they are some, who knows? don't know. They're like 300 watt, something or others. I think I got them from All Pond Solutions, maybe, something like that. They're doing the job, though, aren't they? Yeah, man. I've got three just so it's not just one fully going at all times. Yeah, like if yeah. one fails, at least you've got a couple backups just to keep it going. Oh, um, absolutely. And then, yeah, then she flows into, uh, this is just like filter floss and finer sponges, just for water clarity, really. Yeah. They could do with cleaning at this point, but, you know, she's all right. And then it goes over under into the next section, and this is just um, it's uh, was it C3 resin from Countryside Aquatics? And yeah, it's it just leaches, in it. yeah, it just leaches nitrates out of water, and supposedly makes your water a bit clearer, which seems to be doing the job. Mm. Yeah, I just sort of buy a bit more every now and again. You, you sort you can uh, you regenerate it in salt water, yeah. uh, like every week, and supposedly it's good to go again. So it seems to do the job. And then return pump. Yeah, return pump. I think it's I think it's twenty thousand liters per hour, maybe thirty thousand. Yeah, can't remember. What's yeah. that set to then? Max. Is it on max? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. max all the time. Yeah, for sure. And always keep a spare. Need a spare. It's always yeah. it's a J J cod something or other. Yeah, I've heard really good things about them. Yeah, they're maybe they, they are good. Um, I did have one fail. Well, not completely fail. It just it was. It was not moving the wall they were supposed to move. Yeah. And there was quite a lot of back and forth over like a month, but they did eventually send me a new one for free, which is nice. So oh, good, good. I'll use them again, for sure. Highly recommend. How much are they a pop then, the J-Cod? Uh, I think it's like 110 quid, something well, like that. It's not really? too bad, yeah. yeah not yeah. too bad at all. I've just put an Evolution <coughs> Aqua on my eight-foot tank, which is, uh, I only got a 10,000. I should have got a 20,000, really. Yeah. That's running at 85%, so it's doing like 8,500 litres sure. an hour. It's doing the job fine, yep. but um, I should have really put a 20,000 on it. But they are, um, 
expensive. Big money. Yeah, yeah for sure. very expensive. But, I think um, you've got a lot more control on something like that, though. I, yeah. I do have a bit of control, but I'd just rather full whack all the time, adjust me, uh, me return as needed. Like, yeah, why yeah. not? Well, as long as it's working, that's <clears throat> all that matters, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's it. And this last section Lux. here, what is this? So it was just like a quarantine hospital sort of tank, and it was great, but all the fish have sort of outgrown that now. So I'm thinking about knocking that divider or taking it out. Yeah. And maybe just adding an extra section of media, maybe some movable media or something like that. See if we can, uh, you know, control the levels a bit better. But Maybe some K1 or something like that? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Something like that. Just uh, I need to have a little look into it, really. So. Mm. Uh, there's always new stuff coming out in there, so... Yeah, of course, yeah. mate, yeah. Oh, definitely. And then just an absolute mess of stuff that I use for water changes and medicine and... That's what, know, that's all what sorts my, of shit. my fish from Every looks like, fish yeah. keeper has got a pile like this, yeah. I'm sure, I'm sure. Of course, mate. Filter so, wall and all yeah, sorts of bits. silicon that you can use underwater just in case... Yeah, yeah. ...fucking worst happens. <laughs> it's quite a nice tank, though. It's got a steel stand as well, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, steel all... stand. You can remove these front posts to get stuff in. Not when it's full, I wouldn't recommend <laughs> yeah, that, but... Yeah. Uh, yeah, really well made. I haven't noticed any bowing or any issues yet. Yeah, yeah touch wood. Definitely yeah, no, touch wood. I hate wood. saying stuff like that out loud. But yeah. <laughs> no, I'd, yeah. If they were still in business, I'd highly recommend them. Yeah. And what lighting have you got then? Liam, lighting? Uh, I couldn't tell you exactly, but it's just, uh, they were from Amazon. Just, I typed big aquarium lights, I think. I think they were like 60 quid each. Um, and you've got your blues, your whites, and your reds. Yeah, they are, they, they've got their own timer, so it's like a 24-hour cycle. Um, they're great, honestly. I've had no issues with them. Oh, good. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably just get some more of the same if I ever need to replace them. Yeah, well, they were really cheap. How cheap were they? Sixty quid each. Yeah, like I'd say, 120 quid for the whole thing. You know, cheap, I was looking at was it like razor and all that. I was looking yeah. at hundreds and hundreds of pounds. I was like, man. I know, I've done it. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> you know what? I'm just gonna try these, and if they're no good, I'll bite the bullet. But no, that's sound. I'll, yeah, yeah. Well, you're not growing plants or anything. It's just basically no. show the fish off, yeah, isn't it? For yourself, exactly. isn't it? I just, yeah, I, I prefer the white sort of lights. I'm not really too keen on blues and that. It just, you know, makes the arowana pop mainly. To yeah. Be honest. Yeah. No, it's quality limb. Lovely setup, mate. I don't know what it is. Keeps me busy, oh. Yeah, yeah. Gives me something to waste my money on. But yeah, yeah I like it. It's, it's a centrepiece. Oh, yeah, it's a massive centrepiece. It's so huge, I, too. I Obviously, I've got used to it, but when that thing pulled up in the van, I was like, fuck oh, you know, yeah, it's, it's <laughs> so exciting, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, I know. Didn't quite yeah. comprehend how big it was going to be. It, it's the first couple of nights when you're sitting there and there's nothing in it. Yeah. And the tank's yeah, just yeah. sitting there and you keep looking at it going, I cannot wait to yeah. get stuff in that tank. Well, when it first came in, uh, I didn't have the sump ready. I just had like a, I had these tubs full of like media and then I had like, return pumps going into the tank. I had a couple of FX6s going. I only filled it sort of halfway to begin with because I was nervous. Yeah, like, you yeah. know how it is, man, yeah. I know. But no, it, mate, you know, like I said, it's, it's, the tank's been sound. Like, it's been good. Hmm. I had it. Um, I had the stand made, because it's fully custom. You, you can ask for whatever you want. Uh, and I just asked if it could be like, I think it was 200 mil higher, just so it was sort of like more at level with the door. So when I'm stood up, fish are at eye level rather yeah. than fucking like crouching down do you know what I mean so. yeah of course of course yeah nice. and obviously it's more it's nice it's when you need to get your head in to work on your sump your yeah, hands yeah I've got a bit of room not a lot of room but there's, <laughs> there's a little bit of room yeah yeah, yeah literally so what is it you're feeding bassa uh, fillet we got it? bassa fillet just chopped up yeah defrosted and then just king prawns raw cool cool deshelled chopped up come in boys there you go a little bit of action, wait for the others to notice. Yeah, the Tigrinus is out, look. Wow, he's, he's, he's aggressive quite appetite, isn't he? Mate, yeah, yeah, for sure. I think that's obviously part of the reason why he's grown so fast. Yeah, yeah. yeah Arowan is not interested. They're funny, the Arowan, isn't they? Sometimes yeah. they go mad, sometimes yeah, they don't take anything. I find they don't like having the same thing either. Like you have to switch it like back and forth between a couple of things. Yeah, yeah. So I just get sick of it. Oh yeah, they're fussy.
that car, look. Usually he gets a bit which is far too big for him and he struggles with it for about 20 minutes and then everything else gets eaten. What, the baby car? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> See the Pleco eating some as well, look. Yeah, he just has a suck some fucking dry. <laughs> quality, mate. Yeah. Absolute quality. Well, I think that's it, mate. I think we've covered all bases, haven't we? Oh, good, yeah, sound. It's absolutely amazing, man. Yeah, you should be proud of it, mate. I love it. I oh, appreciate it, man. And I'm, I'm really looking at these guys. Yeah. They're um, really catching high. And the bass, like the Kelberry. I've never kept the Kelberries before. Do you know what, it, when I first, I, I've probably had, I was quite, when, when I was into it at the beginning, I was quite young, and it was all like river monsters, I was just like, I need to own everything, and I pretty much did, I've had, you know, snakeheads, silver owl one, I was like, all the butchers, like, I've had pretty much everything at one point, but I wasn't doing it right yeah, <laughs> back yeah. then, I was like, new fish, new fish, new fish, stuff together which shouldn't be together, but, you know, as you develop, you fucking, you just realise a happy tank is actually a lot better than just a, a stressful tank. Do you know what I mean? Of course yeah, it like is, I never used to take notice of the bass and all that in the videos, and now I think they're brilliant. Like, hmm. I think they're awesome, especially when they get big and chunky. It's, it's yeah, they're, nice they're, they're, yeah, they're all, all your fish are a huge centerpiece for this tank, aren't That's they? That's it, yeah. Which is nice about it, and they all seem to be getting on really well, don't they? They do, yeah. <clears throat> I rarely have big issues apart from like the bass between themselves, you know. But whatever, that's fine. Yeah. I did have a third guy. Um, I sold him to a mate because he really wanted a girl, and I was like, I guess I'll sell you one of mine. Yeah. Kind of wish I didn't. But, you well, know. Was that Florida again, was it? Same as, yeah, from yeah. the same people. And he was like in between the two. So he was like smaller than him, but bigger than the small one. Ah, cool. And he's still doing great as well, which is nice. Love you, mate. Right, Liam, I think we're in the video there, mate. Sweet, bro. Well, thanks for having me over, man. All good, anytime. Thanks really appreciate for, thanks it. Thanks for coming. No problems. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe to the channel. Ding notification bell and keep it real everyone.